What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off my new Colossal Sandaconda V deck. We were able to go on quite a win streak with it on stream. It's a lot of fun to play and it has great typing in the current metagame. Let's check it out. Sandaconda V is the main attacker in this deck with 220 HP and its powerful Sand Breath attack, which deals 220 damage for two fighting and a colorless, and you have to discard two energy from this Pokemon. So we pair Sandaconda with Colossal, whose Tar Generator ability allows you to replenish that energy after you've discarded it. Reads once during your turn, you may attach a Fire Energy card and a Fighting Energy card, or one of each from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So it's a very good combo. Setting up Colossal can be a little bit tough at times, so we do play a thick 4-4 line as well as four copies of rare candy so that we can get Colossal into play as quickly as possible so that we can start attacking with Sandaconda as early as the second turn of the game. Now Sandaconda pairs perfectly with Fion. I really love Fion in our current metagame because its Whirlpool Suction ability allows you to push a Pokemon out of the active position and have your opponent switch one of their bench Pokemon with it. This is great against Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX, who is going to be in the active position trying to use Altered Creation. A lot of times we can knock out everything on an ADP Zacian's bench with Sand Breath, except for the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia itself. So we can use Fion to push the ADP out of the way and take an easy knockout on a Crobat V, a Dedenic GX, or a Zacian V as early as the second turn of the game. And then we also have four copies of Crushing Hammer, which are also great against Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. Just helps to slow them down a turn or two so that we can get some damage on board and end up taking the win. I found that with Fion and Crushing Hammers in the deck, our ADP Zacian matchup is actually pretty good. We also have Cramorant V in the deck, whose Spit Shot Attack deals 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for just three energy. Once you have Colossal set up, you can just put the energy from your discard pile basically wherever you want. And Cramorant does have to discard all the energy in order to use its attack but it doesn't really matter because once you have colossal set up you're going to be just charging that energy back every turn so having the kramer in the deck is great not only for its spit shot attack but also for beat catch which can help you to set up your colossals if you go second we do play four copies of Switch, so it's easy enough to get the Kramer into the active position as well. Switch is necessary in this deck since our guys are very heavy. Sandaconda V has a retreat cost of three, and Colossal has a retreat cost of four. It's very easy to get stuck if you don't run Switch, so I do like Switch in this deck. Air Balloon's not quite as good since your Colossal and your Sandaconda can't retreat for free with the help of Air Balloon. We do play two copies of Hapu, as well as two copies of Marnie, and four copies of Professor's Research in the deck. Hapu is an interesting inclusion, and I really like it in this deck because it allows you to dig for part of the combination that you need in order to set up your Colossal. If you've got the rare candy in hand, you don't want to Marnie. You actually would rather Hapu to dig deeper into the deck, find that Colossal so that you can use the rare candy Colossal combination to get it into play. And then also the discard effect is pretty good since it's it's going to help you to send those energy cards to the discard pile so that you can charge them up with tar generator that's why we play two copies of viridian as well we do have to match our energies correctly in order to get the full effect of tar generator if you've got all fighting energy in the discard pile but no fire energy you're only going to be able to accelerate one energy per turn so viridian helps you to get energy into the discard pile and to find the correct energy to put into the discard pile so that you can use tar generator effectively this deck is a lot of fun to play and it's very good against Eternatus. It's good against Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX and can really hold its own. Try it out for yourself. Check out the gameplay ahead and let me know what do you think of Sandaconda V Colossal in the comments below. Let's see what we can do. Insane opening hand. What more do we want? We got quick balls. We got energies. Playing against Lucario Melmetal. It's not a good matchup, but you know. That's okay. Fine, 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 fine. It's even what I would call a bad matchup. I don't I don't think that we have any. Like, because even if we put fire guys in the deck, and I know people are saying, play nine tails. I mean, but they just put the special metal energy on, and then they block your weakness anyway. So what's the point? Okay. Just pass. Yeah, that's what's up, Puffy Smashers. Now, if we could get a turn two swing into Lucario Melmetal with like a hammer or something, 
be pretty sick. The problem with this matchup is that Zashi and Wanake is all our dudes. Unless you could play Cape of Toughness if you wanted to. Uh, we made room for hammers instead. The hammers have been very good so far. So I think what we're going to try and go for is like a turn two knockout on that Zashian, which is exactly why we play um, Fion, right? So we're going to get the crushing hammer there. We're going to go here. We're going to grab Fion, and we're going to go research and go for it, right? So here we go. You think we got it, chat? Chat, I've got a broken deck. I've got an absolutely filthed out broken deck on my hands, chat. Can anybody help me? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, how do we, how do we deal with the fact that my deck is just so unbelievably filthy broken? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. Have you seen my, my Santa Conda deck? Yes, it's it's a gnarly deck. <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Put the energy onto the boy. Yep. Yep. Seems good. There we go. Give him the old sandy breath. Turn two. What's up? Seems good. With the crushing hammer on the Lucario Melmetal. Feels good, man. Love that. That was fantastic. Then, Joe, the pressure's on, dude. Pressure's on. They've got one Lucario Mel Metal. I'm up two prizes. I do not care about crushing hammers. That is for sure. Metal goggles. We hate to see that. But it's still fine. Like, what are they going to do this turn? How has Sandaconda been going? We're 8 0. <laughs> you would think I'm lying, but I'm not. <laughs> we are 8 0 right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're chilling. <laughs> Yeah, we're big chillin'. Goose Mahala, not a card we typically see. But that's cool. All right, they got the chaotic smell. They've got uh, coating metal energy. Doing some things. Zashian gonna get the energy and then they're going to, they're gonna Intrepid Sword, so. And they got the saucer. So I think we have to gust and get ahead of the, we have to get ahead of it, right? I have to gust and swing into it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna boss this thing up and we're going to tar generator those two onto the active. And then another down and just sand breath. Okay. So that way, even with a Mallow and Lana, we're still doing enough damage to one hit KO that thing next turn. So they're gonna Cynthia and Caitlyn. They're probably just gonna take this opportunity to knock out my Sandaconda and then I'm gonna go, uh, they're gonna grab boss orders, it's fine. I'm gonna take the opportunity to uh, then knock out the Zashian. Now, I know they have boss, but not exactly sure. They've got this Ashian. Really hope that this one doesn't find goggles soon. And they put the energy there. It looks like they're not committing to full metal wall next turn. If they put the energy here, it looks like they would have been prepping for the full metal wall. So we've got this guy. And we're going to Hapu first. We've got Pokemon Communication, which is big as well. I actually want to get... Um, Well, is it actually correct to just gust this Sashi now? But then they're going to. Because if I target her to. They've got. Huh? Potentially, we just go for blood, chat? Go for blood. You just go for it. Yeah, you go for blood, for sure. Okay, so we go here. The tar generator. Yeah. 
And then we just go Eldegoss. Boss up this one. Give him the old Sand Breath. And now I know they have Boss's Orders in their hand, but so long as they don't hit Crushing Hammer, right? If they Crushing Hammer knock out my Colossal, that's like tough, obviously. But we're going for that play. We're like, okay, we know you have Boss, but then I just go Energy Drop, KO Zashian, GG's. Now they could go Full Metal Wall. If they do that, then I just still spit shot this for game next turn. So they are going to Mallow and Lana. Okay, so Mallow and Lana is a little bit more tough because I could do a hundred and the Brave Blade. Okay, so I think they're just going to Brave Blade. Then all I have to do is Brave Blade still, right? The math is still, I do, they haven't full metal walled, so I still do 190. So we're just fine. We literally just have checkmate and that's game over. Yeah, we just go here. I'm going to quick ball away the coal. Get ourselves another Sandy out of the deck. And we go here. We go Tar Generator. Yup. And the Mallow and Lana damage, just the Mallow and Lana heal just does not matter at all. And then we've got the Fighting and the Switch. And that is GG's to Lucario Melmetal. GG's Carrot. There we go. Turn up, chat. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, Santa Conda. Yo, really getting in there. <laughs> okay. I think I kind of need to data change this hand as much as that kind of burns. That I could crowbat for four and hope I just find a quick ball. Well, let's see what's up. That's fine. No turn to attack here, unfortunately. I see my opponent is also playing a good deck. I do love to see that. So hopefully my opponent just doesn't get the turn one altered. That'd be great. I've got Crushing Hammer to try and slow them down. And I could just go turn two Sand Eater. And then uh, we'll go from there. But they do have the energy spinners play. You know, that's making me think that they probably got it. They're just going to research. Okay. So have to get rid of a saucer. Please. Please no turn one altered. Please no turn one altered. You know they got the turn one altered. I don't know that I've ever seen a saucer played without then immediate energy switch on turn one. It's always constant. There we go, though. All right, Jimmy Jams. We ain't got it. So here we go. Now that's scary. It's a two metals Ashian. We don't love to see that. Sick. Okay, so we go there. Just research. Okay. Get Colossal out. Let's go get this guy. Seems good. There, there. And we get to a Sand Eater. Cool. Seems good, man. And then hopefully, you know, hopefully they still stay the course in Alter Creation. That'd be great. Hopefully they stay the course in Alter Creation, I guess, right? And then it's still rough. If they alter creation this turn, I'm going to need to hit a lot of hammers. But they might Brave Blade. If they Brave Blade, yeah, it's looking like Brave Blade. But if I respond to the Brave Blade, they're down three saucers. So all I have to do is respond to it. And we're fine. Okay, there's another rare candy. Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay. Crushing hammers don't matter. Or are you going to go for the altered? They are going to go for the altered creation. Okay. 
and they've got it. So they they do have fear in their heart. Okay. I see. We're going to go crushing hammer again. Okay. Have to go here. My Fion, why are you prized, dude? Why? Oh, now is the time for you. Literally, this is what you were in the deck for, is for this moment, exactly. Okay. Okay. Unfortunate Fion prize. Okay, I'm just going to thin this stuff out and data change and see what's up. Okay. We have the attack, but no boss or anything. Unfortunate. All right, we're going to hop Well, One crushing hammer. We need to hit this crushing hammer for surely. Okay, I'll go there. Okay, I'll go rare candy into Colossal. Cool. Okay, we'll go there, tar generator. Sand breath. Unfortunate. Lack of Fion, I could have guaranteed knocked out anybody on the bench this turn, but they are down two waters. So we're hoping that, you know, and so we're hoping that Ultimate Ray is not an option for them here. And they are down three saucers as well. So I think they go knockout here. I go knockout back on Zashian. And then they can't attack. Or at least they'd have to energy switch off. Right? So if we hit, like, one more hammer, then you're saying there's a chance? Right? They might have missed metal, which would be... No? Okay, cool. We got it. The crushing hammers, it does not matter to me. Okay, we definitely don't want them to get another energy on that Zashi in this turn. Because we know they have a two turn win clock. I mean, they they take this knockout and then they have to respond. So we're trying to take this knockout and then hopefully they have a hard time responding. So here we go, Sandaconda. Got fighting energy. The crushing hammer would be good. Yeah, we'll just do that. Research. We don't have it. Okay, so if they have it, they have it. Go tar generator. I don't think the cram ramp matters. We're just going to sand breath. Okay. And hope that they just don't have the response with their own Zashian. They would need a switch. They would need a switch, an energy switch, their last saucer. Switch, energy switch, last saucer, and metal energy. So it's a four card combo. They do have a big hand and only 12 cards left in the deck. But that's the combo of cards that they need in order to pull off the win here. So let's we'll see if they can do it. Now, if they have a research, they're going to see almost the entire rest of the deck. But they might have prized their fourth saucer. They have two switches down. There's the fourth saucer. OK. There's the metal. There's the switch. Now they just need an energy switch, and it's game over. 
And here's Marty. Energy switch in game. Do they have it? Quick ball, can they data change still? No? Oh, what? No chance. That's game over. That's insane whiff, but that's just game over. I mean, we just are uh, pretty sure we're just almost guaranteed with that. They have three sauce, all four saucers in the discard pile. They cannot come back from that. See, so I do not have a boss in my own discard pile. So what we are going to go for is the Kramer Ant play. I don't want to give them Viridian. So we want to go Quick Ball the Eldegoss. I have Fio now. Okay, so now I can push. So actually that guarantees it. So we'll go there. Go Fion. See what they do. And that is GG's. They're going to give me this. We've got that. We'll just go research. No need to give them access to energy. We just don't need it. We can bench the Cramorant. I can tar generator. And then we sand breath here. And then we should just be set for game. Now all my bosses were in the deck, so I didn't have, it didn't matter anyway. The research there was better with the Fion. That play was better than any potential bosses play that I could have done. Forgot that I pulled the Fion off the prize. Yeah, so they can't possibly attack here. They just have to try and stall a turn. Because we know all four of their saucers were down, unless they whip out the turbo patch. We were not expecting turbo patch, though. And GG's to my opponents. They just have got Cramorant and Spitshot, the active four game. Getting in there. Okay. That's what's up. Why? Okay. I guess I can knock out Partiers with... Why are you playing bad party? Okay, we're just going to get another Roly Coley. I guess I am going to data change. Okay. Seems fine. Wanted to get a switch. I don't think that that... I don't think that they would have been likely to knock out my Sandaconda turn one, but they probably will knock out the Roly Coley turn one if I had to guess. Seems likely. All right, here's a Dedenny. So at least I do have that to look forward to, potentially. But we can take out the bunnies, at least, with Sand Eater. So that's nice. And then we can build up actual Colossals. Probably want to attack with a couple of Colossals. But this does seem like a pretty bad matchup. I mean, of course it is, right? It's a single prize deck. Our deck's a two prize deck. Doesn't seem great. Our biggest hope would be that they just somehow don't have, oh, they have four, yeah. So it's just doing 80 damage turn one. Next turn, I think we're going to Marnie and what, just attach a fighting energy to probably my bench really Coley, honestly. There's no real point in I mean, I guess unless they attack with this guy. They do have that 80 damage. So we'll go up with Sandaconda. Might as well. The hammers don't really matter. But what if I just boss up the Dedenne and just say, you don't have another switch in that hand? Like, for sure don't. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, well, I'm just going to go here. We're going to Marnie. Okay. That's fine. We'll go there. 
I guess we probably want another one of these down there's a sand eater for weakness seems cool We've got quick ball okay I'm not sure that there's enough single prize Pokemon that you could put into this deck to make a matchup like this or baby Blacephalon favorable these just aren't matchups that you're you're not really shooting for these matchups when you're playing the Sandaconda deck you know what it is these are not your bread and butter matchups okay let's see what do we, what do we got we got the pulty guys we're gonna research oh yeah this sandaconda is probably going down if the sandaconda goes down we could just scoop it up four five six seven we're doing 140 right now if they don't knock it out then i guess we might as well dance around a little bit you know if they have to put out maybe two pokemon gx could be good we got tea break how many do we have down now also a lot of times in the map party you kind of wait and see if your opponent you know plays themselves three four five six seven eight so 160 you see if they play themselves because a lot of times they discard almost their entire deck sometimes run out of resources and it looks like they're not going to take the knockout this turn so that's cool 160 we're just going to switch into santa conda and research so we'll just go here we're gonna put down another roly coli i think i think so there's like no chance i get all those set up but I don't know, because I'm like think, imagining myself attack, attacking with Colossals, but maybe that's unrealistic. All these guys are pretty good. So, just going to research. What a hand! Okay. Interesting hand indeed. Probably shouldn't give them that. Yeah, there's Sand Eater. Yikes. Okay, we've got a research. Fine. I suppose. Let's see what they do. Now, the Viridian, yeah, helps them to discard Pokemon, so we don't love that. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're doing 180. They need to get two more into the discard pile, but they are putting a. Okay, they are putting a bunny back into the deck, so now they're at. Not nearly enough again. Well, let's see what they actually have going on. They're going in the triple, so they're going to attack with Poltegeist. They're just going to force me then to attack with... Uh, I can't just Sand Eater again, okay? We've been very much enjoying just using Sand Eater. Yo, what's up, Nixter? I imagine that they're going to take, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 180. Maybe not. Now we could just attach and sand breath the active. I'd rather not do that. Yeah, they don't have it. Cool. 180 damage. So even with the Bundlebee they put back in, they still would not have gotten it. I don't want to get rid of my Cram Ranch, as that is an easy way to knock out the Dedenny. Um, now I could just Sand Eater this thing, or I could go in with a. I could go in with a Colossal this turn. It would require me actually hitting a Rare Candy Colossal play, which I think like we we're just bound to hit, right? There's three Rare Candies left in the deck, but I mean I guess it is a risk. But if we go for it, we probably, let's see, if I just take this knockout, go to three prizes, they take two. All right, let me think for a second. Okay. If I take this knockout, go to three prizes, they take this knockout, go to two, we go to three. And then I take another knockout, go to two prizes. And then they take another two prizes and go to one. And then I knock out the Dedenne in its game. So I guess we just chill here. 
I do have two boss's orders in my deck. So I can afford to just go here and I actually increase my odds of losing the game if I go for the attack with Colossal, though I would have hit it. Worth noting. I would have hit it. So we are going to, I think, at this point, just guarantee ourselves. I'm not even interested in attacking with Colossal because my opponent has missed so many knockouts that it just doesn't matter. So we're going to go here. And then we go Sand Breath and take the knockout. Then they finally knock out. At this point, I'm far enough ahead that it doesn't matter. Because they were too slow to take knockouts on my Sandacondas. So we go three, they go to three, I go to two, they go to one, I go knockout to Denny, and it's game over. I do have to find myself a one of those two bosses orders that I have left in the deck, but I've got a little bit of time to get my hand on those. I can hapu next turn, right? Get the boss's orders to my hand. I guess I do have to find another attack. I have Pokemon Communication, so I can get another Sandaconda into my hand to make sure that that is not an issue. So that seems fine, but we have just about checkmated them here, so that's cool. I was not expecting to be able to do that, and I don't think that Mad Party typically plays any sort of reset stamp or anything like that, so we should just be square. Should be good to go. They are going to boss this turn, so I'm curious as to what they are bossing. Just the other fully loaded Sandicata. It doesn't matter, because I can just put those energy back in play with this guy. So if I top deck boss, then we have definitely checkmated them, because then I just take out the Dedenny now. We do not, and that's OK. So we're going to do that. We're going to Pokemon communicate the Fion and Oh, I guess, yeah, it's cool. We'll, we'll grab the Sandaconda. And then we're going to go Tar Generator onto the active. I'm going to put the Sandaconda down, commit an energy to it. Hapu, and we're just looking for boss's orders or an out to boss's order or yeah, yeah, yeah anything like that. So Fion and boss's orders are both good. So we'll take those. And then we Sand Breath. Okay. Take that knockout, and then we just gust up the Dedenny, and that will be GG's. Unless... You know, if they gust this next turn and knock out my Colossal, then I don't have it lined up. They could boss and knock out my Colossal, go to two, right? And then keep me from winning, which would be tough. So then I would have to find myself a rare candy. How many rare candies do I have left in the deck? Three? So they could certainly do it. We'll have to see what's up. Now, obviously, we would have preferred not to have discarded our own Cramorant. That would have been ideal. Well, let's see, they are really grinding here. Six cards left in the deck. Do they have the boss? and a twin in their hand. That would make things really tough. And how many bosses do they have down right now? They do have two bosses down. A lot of decks only play two two boss, two great catcher. So they, they might not have it. Three boss, I think, is uncommon. Usually it's two boss, two great catcher. So they just have to knock out the active, in which case we now have checkmate. So that's going to be GG's for my opponent. Uh, we have got the Sandaconda. And we can just go Tar Generator. And we've got the boss's orders for the Dedenny's. Good stuff. Getting in there, Sandaconda. Do your thing, dude. Do your thing, dude. OK. Seems pretty good. Yo, take it easy, Adam. Hopefully have a busted day. And GG's to uh, my opponent there. Awesome stuff. Found a rare candy, another crushing hammer.
And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where you stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them or store credit or new booster box, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com. We are always buying bulk and singles at the shop and selling your cards to Fullgrip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. It's really easy to do. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us. You send us the cards and we send you the cash or a new booster box or store credit, whichever you prefer. That's it. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.